Yes, thanks again to our sponsors. And here we go on the right side of the map, our winner from last game from the team MVP. Played very, very well. Great drop play, he is. MVP, Nobles. His command center's on fire, man. He's gonna have to repair that. Maybe it's just smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. Oh, I didn't want to remind myself of that movie. I'm sorry. All right, the left side of the map, in the blue, from the team OGS. Needs to win this game to stay alive. He is. OGS Inca. The last of his civilization. I think, uh, he's got his pyramid. He's ready to go. He's he gonna, looks like, He looks really stressed out, I have to, I have to say. He does look a little bit stressed out. And I don't blame him. I mean, this is kind of his what? second chance here. I think it's the Dark Knight. Is that Dark's broken? <laughs> all right. That's what all the Batman villains say. They're like, Batman OP. <laughs> Nerf Batarangs. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's like, it's not so fair true. that he's a millionaire and a vigilante. I know. That's just not fair. He's a superhero. It's like, we can't even do one successful bank heist without Batman ruining it. Batman's already rich. Just like lay like off the Batman. robbers are like all existentialists on him and stuff and he catches <laughs> them they're like, look, you have a lot of money. Of course you're going to stop us. If you were like us, you'd be a robber too. They're like, spread the wealth around, Batman. Come on. <laughs> like, I just don't know what I want to do with my life. You know, I've, I couldn't finish college, so of course I just want to steal <laughs> stuff. Like, Batman, you don't understand. That's really the core <laughs> issue of Batman. It's, it's a class struggle. That's it really right. is, man. I think, yep. I think we actually <laughs> solved it. Okay, I think so. <laughs> we now know everything about Batman. All right. <laughs> I mean, was was Bruce Wayne really smart and an entrepreneur, or did he inherit a lot of money and then just inherit his father's company? Uh, I don't know. I think Bruce Wayne's basically like the Paris Hilton of DC Comics. Maybe he is. That's it. That's just all it is. To me, boy. Now you guys know all the truths about DC <laughs> Comics that you didn't know before. I guess so. <laughs> Because that's all of them. There are no other hidden truths. Superman <laughs> just disapproves. Yeah, man. He's also Clark Kent. You know that. Oh, it's the probe going to get in. Oh, he does get in. He does. And he sees the reactor and the second barracks. Yeah, so he knows exactly what Noblesse is going to do. Very standard two racks opening. Get the reactor first, the second barracks. Get your command center. You know, a and lot of players... why not two racks on this map? Oh, it's because. Why not? Because it's so good. That's why. <laughs> That's why. I'm like, that's not a reason why not. And you're I like, know. that was my point. And we have an awkward moment where we're like, ah. <laughs> At least you talked us through it. I feel better. <laughs> I feel better for that now. That's good. I was wondering where we could go after the existentialist <laughs> Batman crisis. But you followed it up quite nicely. Well done. Well, thank you. No, thank you. Well, we've got the second barracks tech lab finishing up here. And Noblesse is going to put some early pressure on probably with his first two Mirage. May even go with his very first one. Yeah, well, usually what you do is, like you said, you either go with your first Marauder or you go with your second. Now, most map slow is going to be done by the time you get to the base. You're okay. You can pull a couple SCVs if you want to to really do some buffering. It's not a bad idea on this map especially because it, you can get such a good position. Very true. But and looks like guess, he wants to play it safe. Guess what Inca's doing, man? He's going two gas, one gate, Nexus. Oh, 99 out of 100 times you try to do that build on this map, you do not hold your Nexus against the two rags. Yeah. It's a huge wide open natural. It has two entrances similarly to Zalnaga Caverns, but the difference is Zalnaga Caverns has much more narrow entrances. They're much more easy to defend. Yeah. You can see which way your opponent's army is coming from. If you have the tower, then you can kind of prepare. Can this map, force field? Yeah, this map, there's a line of sight blocker on the left side, so you can't really prepare for any attacks that come from that direction. Now, Nobles is doing a good job of leaving that stalker there to see it. He's got to be careful not to get hit by the Marauder because slow is done now. Looks like he'll get away, but now he knows the push is coming. He can prepare as best he can. He's got a couple sentries here, but you're going to see what we're talking about where it's just so difficult to hold. Yeah, he's got mostly sentries, a second, two gateways. Oh, oh no. no! Stalker caught here. Oh! oh. Barely escapes. You need Stalker's every Stalker's Forest Gump, man. Run, Stalker, run. And the Nexus not canceled here. Despite seeing this forest, Inca feels like he can hold it. Yep. That Stalker's going to find a friend Stalker and open up like a scantipede food shack or something. <laughs> Scantipede soup. Anyway, here it's we go. It's called Scantipede Shack. That's right. Here we go, guys. I mean, this is what we're talking about. It's really tough. Yeah, there's so many SCVs here. Even if he targets down the SCV making the bunker, another one will appear. Whoa, on hold position. That was a bit odd. Uh, and just no DPS in that army. Yeah, he just targeted down the bunker, but guess what? If you do that, then your army takes too much damage. Yeah, look. He's doing a good job, though, I will say. 
He's doing a good job of doing everything he can yeah. to hold this off. With one more warp in, he might be able to hold this. Yeah, more reinforcements coming in, though, from Noble S. And Noble S is actually just going to pull back. All right. Stim almost done here. Ghost Academy oh. on the way. Uh, I think this is a good follow-up with the Ghost Academy. With that many sentries, if you can nullify those with the MP, you can just straight up kill this army. So I think that's what he's waiting yeah, for. Yeah, I think he wants him to warp in yeah. a few more sentries, perhaps, with this pressure. That's why he wasn't giving up just yet. He's going to get a ghost or two and then come back. He's already started his command center, but we saw we saw Inca do this, man. He yeah. did what the Incas could not in South America, uh, man. <laughs> you're going to get so much Inca hate on Twitter, man. <laughs> I did a report about them in grade school, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have any facts you'd like to share with us? I don't know. They, like, sacrifice people and stuff, I guess. Yeah, they had like a special type of rope they kept a long time ago. Well, those the Mayans that kept a special calendar, I guess. Oh, the Incas, they did some they did some sort of calendar with rope or something. I, I don't remember. I don't know. I'm probably <laughs> just going to end up getting confused here. Well, this probe. Oh! oh! Wow. Killer probe. He's a stone cold killer. That probe just said, you know what? I'm not going to take this. That's Most right. probes don't do that. He's the working class standing up for their rights. Batman, take note. <laughs> All right, so Inca's going to put on a little pressure of his own right now. And Noble S has a lot of units. He does he have that ghost out, careful. but yeah. it doesn't have enough energy for EMP yet. Oh, oh, he puts it in the bunker. So smart, hiding that ghost. But he doesn't know how much energy it has if it's in the bunker, so he's got to be very careful. Yeah. One sick EMP on that oh, army, though. With, well, hold that thought. Here we go. Oh, what's he going to do? Nice concave by Noble S. And Inca. Trade a few zealots for a stem on the whole army before Medivax is okay, I think. I yeah. think that's fine. Yeah, well, he just did a lot of damage. And he just went army. home. Yeah, and the Medivax are going to be very, very slow for Noblesse. So those units aren't going to get healed anytime soon, man. Very true. The factory Run, only just now starting. All right. Now, the question is, is Noblesse just going to try to take a third, or is he going to go ahead and push with this once, his, uh, once he's got a couple EMPs lined up? But I think um, most likely like he he's going to push. This is a pretty good timing to push. He saw the yeah. composition of Inca. Only charge. one ghost. Yeah, only one ghost. So that's, that's the one thing I was going to say. It's a little bit surprising. Charge like isn't it. done yet. Um, I, I, oh, 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 oh. I actually like that he only has one ghost because he's got more DPS from that. And he's going to be able to, you know, he's just that confident in his EMPs. And I think that's perfectly fine. You know you're going to land him. Why make, you know, three, four ghosts? Exactly. And... Brave Marauder. And no, will he so hit these sentries? Scans oh. and... Oh. oh, he gets a couple of them. Sick dodge by Inca. Oh, yeah, that EMP didn't do a whole lot. But with that pylon falling, he oh, can't oh. warp in any more units. He's, get, he's actually using that ghost to push back the army because Inca doesn't know that he doesn't have EMP. Now he does after the snipe. Surprised he sniped And he goes actually. back. All right. Well, he's going to wait for Medivax, I guess, in this case. Yeah. Noblesse playing very carefully here. There are High Templar warping in. Storm is almost done. Charge is finished. Don't forget that. Yep. Does not have any upgrades on his Zealots, however, but the army of Noblesse also has no upgrades. Yep. Just Storm dangerously close to being finished, and the Templar, and the Templar are going to have Storm faster than I think Noblesse is going to expect. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have Medivax out yet. This is a very fast two-base High Templar timing that Ink is doing, and we've been seeing it a little bit more often lately. Yeah, uh, this is a... Uh, FXO Oz does it quite Exactly yeah. what I was going to mention. Oz is like the only person who has done this consistently, and Inca uh, looks run. like he's picked up some tips here. Uh, <laughs> he uh, sees the Templar, though. It's really huge. Yeah. He's going to wish he had a few more ghosts now. I guess so. Wish he was a ghost. He's like, I should have gone to ghost school. I could have cloaked. Could have gone to the ghost academy. I didn't study hard enough, and I was a Marine. Well, there are... Depot's going down a second bunker as well. The ghost is just going to uh, run out oh, here oh. and do it, man. Oh, oh, feedback. Not good for Inga. Still getting the EMP off. Yeah. I don't think he should engage that there's too many blockers for his zealots. Yeah, I mean, he used the energy for the Guardian Shield, but it's just not a good time right now. Good. Smartly pulls back, takes a third. Yeah. Both of these guys are actually making really good decisions. Nobody's yeah. getting too aggressive. No snarfing. You remember when... Snarfing was a big thing in Code. Yeah, man. No, that was kind of a TVT thing, but we saw it in every matchup. Well, the uh, the move out here for Noblesse is a little bit questionable. He's moving out with some of his units. Oh, he was just repositioning. I was like, I don't know if he should do this. Commando Templar. The Templar leading the charge here. Storms on oh, a lot of units. Nice. 
Beautiful storm there. Oh, I think this is a bad attack for Inca, but even so, he's just going to go for it. Nice he's storm. Got, yeah, he's got so many storms, man, that I think he might just be able to power through it. We'll see. I don't know. It's going to be close, but I think you're right, Wolf. I think this may have been a bad idea. Yeah, Archon's morphing into die here. Yep, they're morphing into dead. It's not a not something you want to exactly turn into. No, absolutely not. Does yeah. damage a lot of the units of Noblesse, but they remain alive. Look All right, we can talk about supply. Count. Inca's up on supply, but the worker count is really wow. the tell of that. 72 to 25, he killed a ton of SCVs with those storms, but yeah. now he's going to have to deal with this counterattack. He's making Archons rather than trying to build storms, which on one hand is kind of smart, but on the other hand, if he doesn't have any storms, I can't imagine him holding this next attack, man. That's the thing. It's going to be very, very difficult. He's got some Archons. It's going to help out a little bit. He's actually making two robotic bays right now. I'm not sure if that's standard <laughs> or not. I don't think that's standard. Like he is double forged okay, but... I don't know, here's the drop of the main. He's, He's gonna damaged. have two one upgrades to just the uh zero one upgrades to Noblesse. Is he gonna yep. get this Nexus? Gets oh, it! Gets it. He's gonna have to do more than that though. And the drop in the main completely cleaned up. Yep. I think it was actually not a good idea to try to do that type of harassment. I think he should have just tried to end the game at that point. Oh. Well, now it's time to fight a little bit here. He's like, well you've only got zealots. That's yeah, about huge it. Blunder oh, by you zealot ever. Yeah, so I'll just He's quite lucky, man. Oh. That's the probe Letaria from earlier, right? Probe Letaria? <laughs> ah, I see you did. <laughs> uh, that's good. Well, um... I want a t-shirt that says support the probe Letaria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Me too, man. It's just got, class. like, the gather icon on it. That's right. <laughs> uh, well, this drop is continuing, but like I was saying earlier, I don't think trying to catch up economically is a smart idea. He's already way behind in upgrades. His opponent's got crazy tech. He has two robotic support bays. Okay, he's got Storm. Yeah, I don't know about the two robotic support bays. <laughs> that may be a bit excessive. It's like, he wants to get warp prison speed and thermal lance. I don't know. That's, that's obviously a mistake, guys. Yeah. Normally, you would never get two robotic bays like that. In the heat of battle, sometimes these things happen. But now Noblesse, yeah. he no longer has that army that has an advantage. So what advantages does he have anymore? Not really any. Well, you could try to get back into it with his drop lane. That's what he's doing. He's being a little bit annoying with this. Medivac doesn't really have any energy yet, so he doesn't really need to worry about the feedback. That Zealot is not going to be happy about being warped in there. Another drop going down at this new third base. And is he going to get the Medivac out? Looks like he is, so... This is what Noblesse kind of has to do. It doesn't look like he's doing a whole lot of damage with this, and he's not, but he has to put some pressure yeah. on his opponent. He has you to mean, do something. Even if he's damaging an assimilator with a Marauder, which is what this drop is doing, yeah. he's not even actually damaging, he's just damaging the shield. <laughs> if he's doing this, he's at least oh. keeping Inca in his base. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like the most indecisive Marauder. He just shoots one rocket at everything. He just like spins in circles shooting at things. I was a Marauder. Oh, no, don't drop me here. Ooh, double drop is spotted by the probe. Yeah. Will Inca react? Uh, I don't know. Looks like the cannon's the only thing defending there for the moment. Huge warp in, but all of these units will probably be taken out. Yeah, it's not the best place to warp things in. The upgrades are okay, but yeah, it needs to be picked up right away. Not a lot of units getting taken out there. That one Marauder, man. Is that a different Marauder? He's going to die anyway right now. Yeah, it's the same Marauder. Oh, let's see in the line for him. The Armory for Noblesse is finished, but he's not yet started his upgrades 2-2. Really? A huge blunder, I think. Yeah, a nice multitasking here by Noblesse, though, to try to do everything he can, but it's just not enough. It's really just not enough. I, I think, honestly, he should have tried to end the game earlier. He was so behind. Yeah. He had that one huge advantage in army. He did not choose to use it. Well, he played a little bit overcautious. I mean, we saw that push at the very start of the game, that two barracks push. I think he had enough to kind of stick around and do more damage to that. Yeah, I think so. Well, this command center is going to bump noses with a pylon yeah. here. Yeah. Tries to land. I think that pylon's going to block it. it yeah. Doesn't look like did it did block it. Did. Oh, okay. All right. Well, whatever. Those Mars said, eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a pylon. We can kill So this. now Inca is maxed out. He's got plus three shields about to finish, or rather plus three uh, armor about to finish. Noblesse is at 1-1 upgrades with 2-2 just started. Yeah. And can he hold this push? I think the answer is no. Yep. He's got a lot of Vikings out, but that's that's not really going to be important given that there are only three Colossi out. The real damage dealers are going to be those Zealots and Archons. Does have... 
four ghosts with about full energy. Oh. Oh! Wow, he actually avoided nearly all those Marauder shells. Look at that. Hey man, that's pure Marauder, or Stalker nice rather, break, right there. Yeah. Fearless Scout. Bottom right base has been taken by Inca as well. Looks like he's actually going to try to attack at uh, the right side. It's a really bad angle to attack, though. He, he attacked there before. It didn't work out for him yeah, extremely well. Back. Now, I think what he's going to want to do is sort of like position himself around the map, wait for 3 3 to finish, and then think about doing some sort of push. I'm, I'm a little bit. Weirded out by Inca's play here. Normally when you're this ahead, you're maxed out and you're 60 supply ahead, you should at least trade armies. What he's done here now is actually allowed Noblesse to catch up. When you hit 200-200, yeah. man, there's nowhere to go but... Uh, I mean, there's there's nowhere to go but <laughs> you're, there's nowhere to go except your opponent has somewhere to go. And so he's now allowed Noblesse to catch up in supply. Yeah, sure, he still has better upgrades, but he's allowed him to switch his composition to exactly what he wants. Yeah. He needs to attack soon. Oh, good sensor tower by Noblesse. He's going to basically be... Kind of be like, all right, you only have one place where you can really attack me where I won't see it coming. And because of that, I kind of know where it's going to come from anyway. Plus, if you attack in the place where the sensor tower is, it's not a good place to attack, so you're less yep. likely to attack there anyway. So I'm going to keep can, my units on the left side. He can watch where uh, warp prisms would come in potentially as well, too. So, yeah, really good decision making again by Noble S. And he is indeed catching up. He's almost maxed, only 12 supply away. I mean, the only the only other thing that Inca can do here with this type of play is to, like, starve Noblesse out. Yeah. But in this matchup, that's not usually a good strategy. If one battle goes wrong in TPP max versus max, the game is over. Well, okay, so yeah. even if you have better economy, guess what? He's just going to kill all your next eye one by one, and the game's going to end. So he has to be very careful with how he engages this now. He used to be 60 supply up. Now he's got to be very careful. He didn't have to be careful before. Yeah, well, Inca's adding on some gateways, too. It's going to help him. Nice replace. angle by Noble S oh. coming from the side. Oh, home position. No reaction. Great EMP going down. Not a good start. Oh, my fight. God. Noble S is going to win this game, perhaps. Oh, oh, yeah. He's got a lot of DPS of Vikings tearing apart the Colossi. And no that is it, man. All. Guess what, guys? Guess what I just told you? This can happen if you yep. let your opponent remax. Desperately trying to remake units is Inca. But I don't think he's going to be able to make them. No, he lost 90 supply of units right there. Noble S so far ahead at the moment. He's going to try to make as many Archons as he can here. But you know what? It is just too late, I think. Well, you know, Inca still has a decent amount of Archons that he's warping, like you just mentioned. Yeah, we'll but Noble is just going to go home. He's going to keep his supply lead. And now he's got 3-3 on the way, getting closer to being finished. And a crazy comeback that I think Inca actually just allowed to happen. I think so too, but you know what? Inca's still on equal basis though with Noble S. So if Noble S kind of leaves that other one there, Inca's still in it. It's a little bit weird. I mean, it takes longer to produce those big beefy units like Colossi, Archons, things like that. But, um, you know, he's got a good amount of gateways. He's still got an okay economy. He still has better upgrades for the time being as well. His yeah. army is fresh. Noblesse's army is very low on hit points. He still hasn't been able to heal all of that because the way he's moving his units, his medevacs weren't healing while he was moving. Yep. So they're just now being healed. So there was, you know, kind of a scary moment there. But now Noblesse is up in supply. He's about to be even in upgrades. I think he has plus two shields on the way, too. That's going to make his Archons quite a bit beefier. Yeah. Even um, that plus one on the Archons is, yeah. is nice to have. It's weird, though, where we see a TVP that doesn't end with the big, you know, the first big major fight, you know? Very true. It's very unusual. A Dark Templar for Inca going to come over to the north as this drop comes to the bottom right, but unfortunately dropped on top of a cannon. The DT doing some serious damage over here with plus three armor. It takes a long time for SCVs to kill that. Yeah. At the north base. Yeah, with the top middle base. You guys aren't seeing it, but there is a DT up there doing Yeah, some man, damage. that DT is killing 11, 12, 13. Yep, top SCVs. middle base. The top, well, you know, it's happening. Trust us. Trust us. Trust us. It's happening. Is it still happening? I'm yeah, like, it's, it's, it's over now. Oh, it's over now. Okay. Just ended. It had. I'm like, all right, Princess, Princess Jasmine. G. What? <laughs> well, I don't get that connection at all. Explain <laughs> that one. What? You were just like, kept like trying to insist. Or I guess I should have said Aladdin, but you kept just being like, trust me, trust me, trust me. And I was oh. just like, you know, magic carpet ride scenario uh, going on. That's, I'm that's sorry. It was a stretch. stretch. Okay. I think I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Well, I go with you on a lot of jokes here, but that... Well, this attack is going to be no joke. Stalker is <laughs> blinking forward here. Scary moment for both of these players. Noblesse on the cusp of coming back here and winning this game. Yeah. He's going to get in a really good spot to engage, but Inca reacting accordingly, sitting his units. They're doing a little dance of death here. 
they have to engage in the perfect spot with maxed out armies. It's so important. Oh, here he goes. He's going to come on the other side. Lone Ghost coming in, getting some fantastic EMPs. Really nice EMPs, but is it going to be enough? I've got a feeling that it might not be with the upgrades for Inca. Yeah, it looks Whoa. like Inca going to crush through. The Ghost running out of cloak energy. They were doing some extra DPS as well. Wow. Noblesse trying to run away. He doesn't have a planetary up. That is the power of upgrades right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is strong. These Marauders are going to try to feel good about themselves. They're like, yeah, we're killing these side Templar. But then they're still going to die. In the meantime, Inca's going to push ahead, going into the natural. GG, Noblesse. Nice positioning game too. for Inca on yeah. that last fight. He had that plus two shields. He spread his units out better than Noblesse did in the second plus two finish. The second he got that notification on the top left of the screen that said plus two is done, yep. he attacked, man. He went. He got the message, and the general was like, it's time. And actually, man. those EMPs were terrible. He hit one good EMP, the rest of his e EMPs yeah. were not able to do be done because he sent his ghost forward to EMP, but then Inca's army went forward, so he was like, do I EMP my own ghosts? And then he was like, ah, and then he just didn't EMP on time, and oops. But you know what? Inca almost gave that game back to him. Yeah. But he still was just like, I'm going to play a long, safe game. He's well, like, I tell you, Wolf, I can do this. I was like, all right, it's okay, Inca. Well, that's the strength of this new uh, upgrade style that, that people are doing. It's not really new, but it's just become so much more effective now, since the patch especially, that you can get those upgrades so quickly and stay so safe that you can actually get into positions like Inca was in where it's not ideal, but you've got the meat, you know, the power to your army that you can actually survive that. It's actually, it's really weird, but yeah. that's that's the reality we live in these days. He, he lived, he, he, lived, he, uh, he <laughs> went to four bases. He kept his opponent on three for quite some time. Yeah, he lost to Nexus yeah. um, after that huge fight, but he wasn't able to kill two Nexi. If he would kill two Nexi, then things would have, I think, turned out a little bit differently. Interestingly enough, yeah. Noblesse didn't really remake Vikings. So he didn't have very many Vikings for that last fight, and I think that's part of the big problem that, that occurred well, there. Well, it's tough to read a, a Protoss that's switching like that, and uh, he was in a position, too, where he really needed to use his energy on his command centers for mules because economically he was behind the entire game. So without the ability to scan like that and without the ability to really get in and scout, it, it's tough to make that call. Yeah, in, in it is Noblesse's tough to make that position. call. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And it's also tough to, to make the call of where to engage. And, you yeah, know, he absolutely. sent those ghosts forward to, to find out just that, also to get some EMPs off, but... Inca was already ready. He had better vision of the map. He had observers floating around. He had the tower, I believe, yeah. when that fight occurred. So You know, I've got a feeling, too, that base in the lower right for Inca, I don't think Noblesse knew about that for a very long time. That may time actually be too. true. That may yeah. be why he didn't attack it after killing the third base. Yeah, he kept having all these opportunities to go down there and do that, but he, he didn't do it. I never actually like checked his vision or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, and but he kept also yeah. dropping the uh, third base where there were cannons rather than dropping the fourth base exactly. as well. So yeah, I, I think that, that you may be right on that I assumption. Inca slipped one past him. I think so. Well, our Pulled a fast map. one on him, man. He did. Tricked him. Yeah. He did his own cute He moves. deceived him, you he, might uh, say. He hornswoggled him. Yeah, you might say that uh, he laid a trap. That's right. I'm like, I don't know, that one's a stretch, too. <laughs> How about that? Okay, I'm okay with that. All right. I'm like using all the words for confused that I hear in like old musicals from the 1940s. Start singing State Fair soon or something. All right. Our next map is Daybreak, guys, so this is going to be it. It's all come down to this. Noble S versus Inca. Who's going to come out on top? Let's find out.